We're almost done. Now let's go to the chorus version of it, because I created two, because I like them both the way they sounded. Mars, you go. Everybody, welcome back to the Headbangers Hideout. Today we're in for a special treat. I'm going to give you the distorted clean tone of Van Halen's Balance. We're going to be covering uh, Don't Tell Me and Balutetherium, since I believe those two tones are related, but pretty much the balance tone. Uh, there's a lot of variations of the balance tone online. This is mine. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I'm going to share with you all the settings. Real quick, uh, click subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I'm using the Boss Evan JS10, which has the Boss GT100 FX processor. Let me give me some demos, and then we're going to get right into the meat and potatoes. As you can see in the screen, I have my modulations. I have chorus, flanger, phaser, and tremolo. This tune, or the, this tone, can have two effects: a flanger tone or a chorus tone. I'm going to show you both. I like them both. I save them both. So let's go ahead and give me some demos, and then we're going to get into the nitty gritty. So this is, I'm using a basic Telecaster. You can use a Humbucker, Strat, whatever you want to use, Super Strat, Les Paul. These settings will make, will work with whatever you have, okay? Um, let's go ahead and give me the demo, and then we'll break it in, all right? <clears throat> don't mind my playing, I just, uh, I don't know the Van Halen stuff, but I'm just going to fake it. I'm going to fake it, okay? So, listen for the tone. Okay, here we go. I think we're, let's go, let's go for it. Now let's go to the chorus version of it, because I created two, because I like them both the way they sounded. popular Iggy Van Halen chord that you did on balance. <laughs> Making it up as I go, just listen to the tone.
you get your ideas. Let's go ahead and begin. So real quick, go back to the flanger, listen. <laughs> You could have used a very low rate of a phaser or a flanger or the chorus. So I'm going to give you both tones. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's see where we're at. And there we are. So that is my tone. My I just call it BH. I can spell it, the name is too damn long, but I'm calling it VH Beluchetherium. You want to call it Van Halen Balance Tone, you can. I'll probably change it, but that was the song I was learning, or trying to, and so I just called it Beluch, whatever you call it. So if you want to call it the Van Halen Balance Tone, go for it. I just gave you the Van Halen Balance Clean Tone for the other song, Can't Stop Loving You. So that one's already just locked in stone. This will be my balance, my <laughs> This will be my Van Halen balance main guitar tone for leads and rhythm. Alright, let's go ahead and begin. You want to join me? Uh, here's the open E. And here's the low E. Or drop D. And I was trying to go for that distorted clean tone with this chord, Van Halen chord. And then when you roll down your guitar volume, it sounds really good. I never learned it, so don't come for me, alright? Let's go ahead and show you what I'm doing. Alright, I'm really happy with this. Uh, look. Again, I'm not saying mine's uh, the ultimate balance tone. There's a lot of good tones. But I'm going to rank, uh, rank mine up there with number one or number two. This is all you need because whatever you have, fractal audio, Axe Effects 1, 2, 3, Line 6 Pod, Line 6 Helix, the Boss GT100, 1000, whatever you have, pedals, by using my settings, you're going to have a template to tweak it and make it sound even better, right? This is perfect for me based on what I have because I don't need to have all that equipment. I can make it sound good. But now you probably have better equipment than I do. So use my settings and then play off of it and then make your equipment, your gear sound better, all right? So here we go. So those are my settings in a nutshell. I'm using an amp, obviously, compressor, uh, either compressor or limiter, uh, my I have no overdrive distortion. That's going to be all from the amp. Uh, I do have a noise gate. Uh, I have no EQ. That's going to be a plus for you guys. No EQ pedal. I am using a chorus pedal. And I'm going to show you the flanger pedal. So remember I showed you two? Love it. So, uh, and then reverb. All right, let's go ahead and get in. Real fast, I'm using a high gain stack, which for your amp modeling would be a modified vintage Marshall. So basically, I didn't grab a 5150. I didn't use a Soldano. I, didn't, I don't have a PV or anything like that. I'm using a modified vintage Marshall to get my tone. In this case, I have it at 115. Basically, it's already at full blast. My amp gain goes to 120. I just have it at 115. I could have gotten a 120, but I have it at 115. So just so you know, you may have 10 as your full blast. So I'll put it on 10 if you want to. But my high gain stack is modeled after a modified vintage Marshall. Remember, he scrapes the pick right by the bridge. You can also get a flanging effect too. That's why I created two tones, right? So those are my settings for the amp so far. 
that's my effect level. And those are my bass, middle, and treble. Now look, I'm playing with a Telecaster, so these pickups are not hot. So your amp and your, uh, I'm sorry, your guitar pickups, probably way better than these. So it's going to sound really good on yours. <laughs> I wanted the dirty, distortion, high gain, but clean, and this amp lets me have it. All right, so those are my settings. So go ahead and look at the screen. I have TCOM at zero. It's on. If you don't have this, don't worry about it. It won't affect your tone. It just happens to be in my uh, line, so that's how I have it. All right, what else do we have here? I am using a compressor pedal because Andy Mahan is, no is notorious for using a lot of compression or compressor. And those are my settings for the compressor compression pedal. compression settings uh, you can look at my screen I have no overdrive distortion so turn it off I have it off see so I'm not using any distortion or overdrive pedals all my gain is from the amp all right what's next uh, that's still off I am using a noise gate you can put yours at 50 mine's right in the middle if you got a little bit of hum or pickup noise just turn up your noise gate but my noise gate is right at 50 again let's go back out of there See the EQ, the EQ is off, so I'm not using any EQ, so just turn off your EQ, right? See how fast this is? Now this is the meat and potatoes. Now, um, I guess, um, I don't know what Eddie used. What's he, I don't know what it's called, harmonizer? I don't know what he used, but he used some type of effect to emulate a chorus effect. I don't have that effect. I have a chorus to give me the chorus effect. So, bitch, I'm going to use a chorus. <laughs> I don't need to have all these... Uh, special effects to emulate any and you don't either just look at the screen and I'll get you close to it all right so what's that song go Whatever, it goes like that, and this is the tone. <laughs> See, that pattern with Rattle Bar? You go. And you're a dive bomb. All right, Tony, show me the chorus. Oops. So real fast, these are my effects. Chorus, flanger, phaser, rotary, tremolo, and so forth. In the intro, I showed you the flanging effect and the chorus effect. Initially, I didn't know what he was using, so I created the chorus tone. Then I'm like, well, let me, I hear a little bit of flanger. So then I created a flanger tone. Both are interchangeable. So if you want two tones here, you can save it as a chorus balance, Van Halen balance chorus tone or Van Halen Balance Flanger Tone. That's up to you, but I have two effects for this one tone, because they both sound good. I couldn't tell if it was a flanger or a chorus, so I wanted to get both, just to have it. Look. But when 
I heard this. I heard a flanger, but I also heard a chorus. Right now, we're going to give you the chorus. When we're done with the tone, we're going to come back and give you the flanger. Drop your guitar volume. And that's when you do your little dive bomb, all right? So let's go into my chorus. This is my settings. I'm using the highest stereo mode. In my case, it's ST2. So whatever stereo chorus you have, that's what I'm using. My rate is at 50, my depth is at 48, and my effect level is at 68. Let's turn the chorus off, listen. See, With, without the Van Halen chorus. Let's put on the Van Halen stereo chorus. can't play it, but who cares? It sounds good. It was in my chorus, so chorus settings. We're almost done here. And notice that's my delay. Remember, I just use the delay to fill the space. If I turn the delay, see, it's too dry. So let's put on the Age of Van Halen delay. We're almost done. Lastly, uh, I know he uses a plate reverb. I'm using a room reverb. So you want to play with your reverb? Go for it. You may have a gazillion to choose from. I only have five. And this one I chose room. is my Van Halen balanced tone using a chorus effect. And let's go back to the chorus. And I'm gonna give you the flanger look, remember? Because I heard this. Part two tone is the flanger tone because I heard this also on the original recording. Does that sound good? Now some people online have like a ton of flanger. No, no, honey, this isn't ain't talking about love flanger. <laughs> this is the Eddie Mae Halen flanger and the Eddie Mae Halen chorus. 
I had the secret before Eddie passed away. He gave me the secret. <laughs> Tony, make a video on the boss email for me. Uh, and use the flange in the course. <laughs> to the flanger and we're almost done. Those are my flanger settings for this tone. That's my flanger tone. Everything else stays the same. I just added the flanger. Let's go back to the chorus and use that one instead. <laughs> I'm telling you, play it right or don't play it at all. <laughs> There it is, that is my Van Halen balance tone using the chorus effect and or slash the flanger effect. So I gave you two tones in one for the Van Halen balance guitar tone that everybody's looking for. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job, I'm very happy with it. I don't need to buy these big elaborate amps and heads and pedals. The Boss E-Band does it all, it's all you need. And with my settings, I'll get you there. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, leave them below. I forgot your name, but thank you for uh, recommending the balance tone. So now you have the balance clean guitar tone. Um, and now you have the balance uh, distorted rhythm tone, lead tone, using the chorus, obviously. And then the uh, flanger tone built in. I didn't have a uh, vibrato bar to go. And that's not really good. One day I'll learn it, but I just wanted to give you the tone. All right, if you haven't already, click subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Stay tuned, it's a doozy. 
you have any more tone guitar tone recommendations leave them below because I may have forgotten you but I love doing this and it's a lot of fun giving you my tones for free you don't have to pay anybody you don't need to buy any guitar packets or tone packets no bitch there's nothing for sale here <laughs> If I can make a Telecaster, a country twang Telecaster, sound like Eddie May Halen, imagine a Super Strat, or a Les Paul, or an Explorer Destroyer. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, everybody. Thanks.